Robert Frost did write in settings beautiful and rustic. He wrote of rolling hills and green terrain. While poor me, I must do my writing in the chaos of the city, sometimes even on a subway train. How am I to ever learn about the woodlands and the falling leaves of autumn and such things sublime when I must spend all of my life trucking around this dirty city doing what I can to earn a dime, dime, dime. How did Robert Frost make payments on that little country house of his? Where did he get the dough? Could he go down to the country store and sell a poem saying, here's a nice one I wrote about the snow? Surely now he must have had a sponsor of some sort. Perhaps a lady friend who simply rolled in bread. A lady friend to say, now, Bob, why don't you take a long, long walk and write whatever pops into your head, head, head. She said, Bobby, don't you worry about the mortgage. No, 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 no. Don't you worry about the bills. I see we do have a dream. Bobby, why don't you go write a poem about the fences? About the neighbors and the rolling hills. Bobby, don't you touch those dishes. No, 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 no. Don't you clean those pans. Bobby, now it is not good that an artist like yourself should be walking around this world with dishpan hands. So you see, old Bob was free to follow through his fancies, wander through the woods behind the muse. Boy, if I had Bobby's life, I could follow through my fancies, oh, to be in Bobby's shoes. Boy, if I had Bobby's life, I could be a hero. Go out and find my fortune and my fame. Only trouble is I hear from people who have found it is that everything in life stays just the same, 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 just the same, just the same, just the